I, I think you're the Wayne Benson, the gay activist. I saw you on Laura Ingram. I wish you was stepping in for Bill Riley. And I, and I heard the things you said that sounded childish and juvenile. I know all about the homosexual lifestyle. 2% live to the age of 60. The average lifespan is in their 40s. A higher rate drug, alcohol, suicide, suicide, abuse. <clears throat> they got a, a 70% of the people in this country have AIDS. These are just facts. You can fight against them all you want. 50% chance of contracting AIDS, even with a condom. But, and you can go back and forth. I bounced in a gay bar. I was in entertainment. I've seen them. I've seen a lot of them. I'm straight, but I've seen them go homosexual one day, heterosexual the next. It's behavioral. You like same-sex sex. You confuse lust for love. And you are the haters. Look what happened in California. Found the addresses of everybody who donated to Prop 8 groups, all you gay activists, harassed them on the front lawns, made death threats to them, got them fired from your jobs. It killed two people, pulled an elderly couple out of their cars and beat them up because they had a vote yes to Prop 8 bumper sticker. Punch one old lady in the nose and knocked her down in the voting line because the gay activists couldn't get her to change their votes. You, you want to see somebody who's a, a hater, somebody who's a Republican fold? Someone who's a conservative, Catholic, Christian at home, you need to look in the mirror, pal. You're the haters. You're the bullies. I'm a minority. You co-opted the civil rights that were meant for me, people of color. You were never told to go back to where you came from. You never drank out of a different water fountain than whites. You weren't kept as slaves for 200 years. You weren't lynched. You weren't burned. You weren't raped. How dare you? How dare you co-opt my rainbow out of my Bible that was a covenant between Christ and Moses? Everything you have, you stole. While African Americans uh, suffered dignified fashion, they responded in a dignifying fashion to discrimination, prejudice, and rape and murder for 200 years and, and didn't say a word and just walked away and suffered in silence through dignity. And you gay activists, you go around looking for discrimination, looking for fights, looking for wars, looking, screaming the loudest when there's needier people in this country. It's always the gays that get their rights on the forefront. You got your 3% of the population, pal. 3%. That's just a fact. The minority doesn't rule over the majority. That's called tyranny. You oh, you have as much rights as I do as a gay, as a straight man. You can't marry in some states a gay man. I can't marry in some states a gay man. You could marry a woman. I could marry a woman. Guess what that means? We have equal rights. So you're the bullies. You're the you're the one shutting down restaurants. Plus, you teach your viewpoints to our children, a captive audience in the classroom, with innocent minds, not fully formed minds, from kindergarten on up. Kevin Jenny at the safe schools are who revered the person who founded the Man Boy website where homosexuals cruised the website to find underage boys to have sex with. I don't believe for a minute that you live your lifestyle just devoted to your partner. Maybe you're the exception to the rule. I know how they live. I see what they do. I had a business partner who lived that lifestyle. My son was abused by a homosexual. I was abused by a homosexual for 15 years. I'm not gonna tell you what he did to me. Violently, 60% chance of violence between same-sex couples. That's for a fact. I was abused by a person who weighed 100 pounds more than I did for years. I got the stitch marks to prove it. My son... And then the crazy man calls back about a minute later with message number two. You even co-opted the uh, 14th Amendment that was meant for interracial marriage. That Fourteenth Amendment was for, or it was for religion. It was for your demographic, your nationality. It was for. Uh, it had nothing. It did. I read it. I can't remember all of it, but I went over it carefully. And there's nothing in there about sexual orientation. Nothing. It's race. It's religion. Religion. It's national origin, and that's about it. It was for blacks and whites. You even stole that from the blacks. 
everything you 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 claim, you took this constitution and treated as your little moldable ball of clay, and it means what you want it to mean. But when somebody does, doesn't agree with you, you beat them up, you shut down their their business. In the church I went to, a bunch of gay activists surrounded it, a clear cut case of trespassing. Voter intimidation right on church property, wore the rainbow sashes inside the mass, desecrated the mass, created a hostile environment with a mass, had a bullhorn, 70 of them, scaring the hell out of the old people. This is not how victims react. I saw an old lady carrying a cardboard cross the day Prop 8 went through on CNN, on national TV, walked in the middle of some gay activists, saying, Jesus loves you. That's it. They pushed her down. They ripped up her cross. Victims don't behave like this. And now they're going to do it in my state. Here enough, the all-front organization of my state is threatening the violence. They said there's going to be hate crimes. Well, before the marriage, the closer we get to the voting on the marriage amendment, the all-front group said that. That's the same one that shut down my right to worship. I'm 98% of society. You're 3% of the society. 700 people in Minnesota claim to live that lifestyle, and they're going to tell 5 million that, hey, guess what? Marriage is a man and a woman for 2,000 years. Well, we're going to change it for 5 million people, a 700. I'm sorry, Mr. Benson. You enjoy everything your lifestyle has to offer. You can marry all you want. Your lifestyle can get cured through counseling. Dr. Robert Cohen, I think his name, psychotherapist who lived the lifestyle for 16 years, got cured for counseling because he chose to. And now he's married and has five daughters. I got to tell you something. When you have biological kids and a wife, nothing is like that. You think you're in love with your partner? I guarantee you, if you got cured, if you went to counseling and you married a woman and had your biological kids, and I met a lot of people who did, and they all said the same thing when they lived that lifestyle. They said, I thought I loved my partner. It was nothing like this. And that's a fact. God ordained it. God created it. It's something that's not visual. You can't see it. But it's a bond that's there. It's mysterious. But it's there. Only God can explain it. And there is a creator. And the God is the bride groom, and the church is the bride. Everything Christ created is, is symbolizes Marriage symbolizes family. The family is symbolism for the triune God. The Virgin Mary is symbolism for for virginity and abstinence till you're married. And and I'm sorry, but you're just wrong. The haters and the bullies and the murderers and the abusers and the assaulters are the homosexual group.